Now it's time to know more about the business policies and procedures for India. You should follow the same for both domestic as well as international business trips. This shall include business-related journey or training requiring overnight stay. Your responsibility is to submit business trip application in our portal for approval. This shall include attaching of documents relevant to the time. Post your trip. Ensure you have the travel expenses documents submitted along with receipts. Hmm. Can you elucidate about our business travel expense procedure? Your business travel is budgeted, and business trip application and travel expense form should be pre-approved by the direct manager and accounting department, including the conferencing activities on the 15th of every month. Hey, note, post approvals from the consents. You should forward your entire business trip related document to the finance team by the 20th of each month, and reimbursement will be paid by the 5th of the following month or along with your salary. Cool, right? Let me take you through the meal allowance and eligibility. The purpose of meal allowance is to provide staff with an allowance to cover meal and incident costs during the business trip. It is in addition to all other business-related travel expenses. Your meal allowance is a predetermined amount, which is calculated on a number of days of pre-approved business travel. Eligibility regarding your meal allowance covers the period starting from departure from the company's office or staff's residence for the travel until return, which excludes your weekends and public holidays and annual leaves. Make sure that your business trip application is properly completed, or else company shall reject or decline your claims. Your rates and deduction on business trip is as follows. For domestic 590 Indian rupees and for international 650 Indian rupees per day is limited to 5000 Indian rupees tax included reimbursed as actuals in bill produced. Note all business trip related expenses like airfares, train or bus tickets, hotels, visas etc. need to be booked through the travel portal at yourprice.net. Yeah, Amit, the international means the trips to our headquarters in China and Taiwan for attending exhibitions, sales review meetings, etc. Also, international trips for SAARC countries, except Pakistan, are permitted for sales and technical support personnel for meetings and exhibitions. And know that you will be provided with travel insurance for all your business trips. But understand, insurance excess and limits may apply. In case of emergency and crisis, you need to contact local admin department and directors earlier. They will inform to HQ. Please note, the company does not reimburse for the cost of insurance and other office equipments and stationaries purchased by staff for their own rationale. Other important aspects of business trip policy. No expense claim can be made for various marketing or conferencing activities that are not categorized as local office operational expense. Always refer direct to local business director for correct procedures. Staff are required to submit tax receipts and invoices for reimbursements of expenses incurred during or incidental to work or work-related travel, including boarding pass if travel by air. The company reserves the right to decline any claims made after claim deadline and or with insufficient or fraudulent documentation. Further information on the relevant forms, you may keep in touch with the HR team. Trust what we had let you know was useful as well as interesting. We once again wish you a great career ahead on behalf of the HR team of the New Line Group.